really cool for us and, and credit our marketing department too as well. Uh, great for us to be a part of it and that's why we're here and doing those things. And then this is about all of a beard that I could push out in a week. I, don't, I can't keep up with you, Ross, but no shave, no shave November and it brings awareness to another great cause too, so we're happy to be a part of it. Um, obviously very, very pleased with the win, um, but, but more importantly, just for their guys. Yeah, this is a Bison basketball win. And what I mean by that, we defended, uh, we took care of the ball. We certainly could have done a little bit better job. They got us by one on the glass. Um, but two staples of our program, valuing, valuing the basketball and defending, and we did that at a high level against a very good offensive team. Take questions. <laughs> Yeah, I, thought, I mean, we have a talent. We have talented pieces. Uh, we have a bunch of guys that can really shoot it. So that spaces the floor. That that tests you defensively. And um, you know, you saw different guys get going at different times. And I think that's a luxury that we have. First half, it took you guys a little bit to get going, but did you feel like it was, you know, it was right there? Just got to put them in and get the open shot. Yeah, in in a sense, it sounds crazy, but from a coach's perspective, I couldn't ask for a better start. Because it's the same start in a sense that happened to us on Tuesday, and we didn't respond very well. And today we responded a little bit and had a better mentality coming out of the gate after, after that. You know, I think it was I don't know what it was, um, ten three or something like that, twelve six, and uh, we were able to punch back and get through, and and for the most part held the lead the rest of the way. From a momentum standpoint, when you get those loose balls, you know, you're scrapped and fighting for them. How much does that bring you? You know, some momentum and some, some positive energy. Yeah, we, we talked we talked to our group about this being our first home game. And, you know, we're in the Red River Valley and there's farmers harvesting right now. And, and Chris talks about it being a lunch pail group. That's what we want to represent, you know, by the nation. And I think that's playing hard. That's having fun, a blue collar mentality. And I thought when you defend like we did, um, that, that represents that in a big way. I feel like you're more entertaining than last year. Yeah, we have those abilities, yeah. Um, I've heard that from a lot of people. I've sensed that myself. There's a, there's a great energy. There's a great vibe. There's plenty of athleticism. You know, uh, even a guy like Jarius Cook, who only played six minutes, that, that kid's really, really talented. Sam Greasel's still getting comfortable. Those are two very talented freshmen that, again, we knew win, lose, or draw these you know, first couple months. Um, there's just some experiences that those kids got to grow, th grow through on the court. 11 guys, uh, and then at least six minutes, at least was Jarius. Are you searching for, for 10 or 9 guys and playing 11? Or, I mean, are you, or do you feel like you can be this deep all season? That's a good question, and I don't know, have necessarily have an answer for you right now, nor do I care to have an answer. I think there's, um, it carries over in practice where it brings out competition. Uh, some of the better teams that I've been a part of here, we've had great competitive practices. Um, and and it's, it's a luxury, you know, it's a long season, knock on wood, but if someone to get hurt, there's foul trouble, someone's not playing well. Um, but today, for the most part, we had them all clicking, which was good. Second straight game where you guys shot 27, 28, 29 <coughs> three-pointers throughout the game. Is that kind of becoming the norm for the team, or is it just kind of maybe an isolated two-game thing, or do you kind of see it progressing? Well, I think what I, what I really like is we took a lot, which is fine, but we also got to the line 22 times. And you go back and look at an NBA box score. There's a whole bunch of dark colors around the arc, and there's a whole bunch of dark colors around the rim. And when we're playing at our best, we do have a bunch of guys in, in our, now that Chris has taken one, in our two games, all 11 guys have at least tempted one three. And we, they have the ability. It's not like they're just throwing them up there. Um, but we, we can't fall in love with it either. You know, we need to stay in the attack, especially when you go on the road, shots don't fall. And um, easy, there's, there's nothing, you know, they call it a free throw for a reason. What was so big about Tyson's performance tonight, 16 points? I don't know if there's anything big about it. I think it was, uh, I heard him a little bit in here. I think it was, um, he just understands what we're expecting out of him. I think so many people want to have him be the next Paul Miller or the next whatever. That's, that's not who Tyson is. Tyson needs to be the best version of himself, and um, he can impact the game. He had six rebounds. Uh, the one that really sticks out to me is real late shot clock in the second half. He creates two, kicks it to Vinny. And then Vinny kicks it to Jared for the three. That was Tyson that got that started. And, you know, I think a, an older Tyson, um, Tyson not locked in the moment, tries to force up a shot there and doesn't trust his teammates. I just see that there's a lot of people that contribute. There's no 30-point scorers. There's no 20-point scorers. I mean, you got a couple dudes in double digits, but everybody else is really scoring. And I see that top to bottom, I think we got a lot of depth and that anybody on the floor can score. Looking for you offensively today, you had a big game. My teammates found me in the right spots. Uh, they told me not to force anything. That was really my the big problem that I had uh, going last year and going into that first game, really forcing up shots. And we sat down, we had conversations, and 
uh, just forcing and let the game come to me and just listen to them and they help me out. Sharon, sharing the ball is a big thing for you guys. Is that kind of something you feel like you did well today as a team? Uh, yeah, I think we shared it really well. Uh, the ball wasn't really sticking at a particular point. We just kept uh, swinging it back and forth and just getting good looks. Nice. Do you feel like you're a more entertaining team this year, than you guys? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this team is this team is fun. You get that ball off the rim one through four, and you just let it go. And, and you know, I like I like the way we all play, and I feel like all our games play well together. And I think we could really do some damage towards the end of the year. Dang, it seemed like you had kind of a quicker step on your on your man today. Was that something you kind of identified early on and exploited throughout the game? Uh, playing the five, I feel like I'm quicker than a lot of the other five men, so that is something that uh, I really try to use to my advantage. So coming into the game, I was just uh, – Coach Brown told me to be aggressive and just to play basketball, and that's what I did. I feel like defensively, you guys were really – had the intensity today. It seemed like every time there was a loose ball, it was you guys that came out with it. Uh, yeah, I think we just came out with uh, a really good energy uh, – from the bench players to everybody on the court just communicating, and I think that got everybody going. Do you guys feel like, uh, Tyson, uh, do you guys feel like this rotation <coughs> where a lot of guys are getting minutes and you guys aren't getting to that 30, 31, 32 minutes, you guys fresher, able to play a more frenetic pace? Absolutely. You know, having having a lot of depth on that on that bench makes it a lot easier for people to get some, some rest if they're really tired instead of having to push them through the, those 30-minute games. And I think – that with that, it's it's beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful game of basketball that we play. Does that kind of better prepare you guys for this road stretch where you're pretty much, you know, going to be on the road for for a month? Is that something that kind of plays into that? Absolutely. I think what really plays into it mostly is just energy. You know, we got to have a lot of energy. You know, we're going to be playing in the Bahamas, and there's not going to be a lot of people there. So, you know, you got to make your own energy because you know, I don't know if there's any Bison fans out in the Bahamas, but that'd be nice.